My name is Natalie and I have hypertrichosis. Some people call it the werewolf syndrome, but I think I look less like a wolf and more like an ape. When I was young, my parents tried to cut the hair from me and a lot of the time I would wear clothing that covered up patchy spots. Of course, growing up, it was difficult to cover my face. I like to wear big sunglasses, but eventually people just, you know, notice the person that has hair all over them, no matter what you do. My condition is genetic, so there's nothing I can do about my problem. About 7% of the women in the U.S. suffer from a mild version of the condition called hirsutism, and they can get a hormone treatment that helps them out. But meanwhile, I'm stuck like this. People who aren't immediately disgusted by me tend to mock me, and when I was little, another girl was playing in the sandbox, and she started calling me doggy. No matter how many times I told her I wasn't a dog, she just laughed and insisted. You're furry like a dog, she said. What's the difference? And the little girl just kept on telling me that I was a talking dog, and it made me so mad, but looking back, she's probably one of the people that's actually been nicer to me, because after all, dogs are super cute, right? People like dogs a lot. And I remember how she'd tell me to follow her like a dog, and sometimes I would follow her around because I had nothing better to do, and I guess she was the closest thing I ever had to a friend. Other people just don't want anything to do with me. Then there are all the people that just call me disgusting and creepy, even my teachers try to ignore my presence most of the time, and I used to try and participate in class, but they didn't let me. I guess nobody wanted to have a look at the girl who looks like a gorilla. When I got to high school, I shaved all the time. Um, the trouble is that it seemed like no matter how many times I'd shave my face and body, but the, the hair would just grow right back. It was exhausting to work so hard at trying to look remotely normal. Hiding all the hair all over my body isn't too challenging, but my face, I can't really do much about it. Even if people didn't tease me for looking like a gorilla, they'd say that I'm an ugly man. Natalie's beard is growing in again. I guess he hit puberty. People at my school would mock me, and I was never a particularly smart person when it came to academics, but I did work hard to be able to finish high school early. I think the teachers didn't mind letting me finish as long as I passed tests because they didn't want to look at me. Now I live at home with my parents, and I try not to go outside if I can help it because I'm just so ashamed. And a few months ago, my parents decided to do something to cheer me up because I was basically a perpetual shut-in. One day, they surprised me by bringing home a dog, and the dog was a mutt that wasn't wanted by its previous owner, and it got rescued by a shelter. And so my parents gave me the dog and let me name it. I remember first petting its golden fur and feeling warm inside. I think that getting do a dog for the first time made me feel happy, and I decided to name her Goldilocks because while the dog's fur was golden, the hair all over me was dark, and Goldilocks stayed with me every second of every day from then on. I taught her simple tricks like sitting and jumping. My parents, they care about me, but even they have trouble looking at me. I understand why, but Goldilocks looks at me like nobody else looks at me. And when I walk into a room, that silly mutt just jumps to her feet and sways her tail black back and forth happily. And she's a very polite, docile dog. She follows me everywhere and seems to smile up at me. I know dogs don't really smile the same way that humans do, but like her tongue fluffs out of one side of her mouth or the other and she look, just looks so happy. Goldilocks likes to be with me when no one else even wants to acknowledge that I exist. When I go to sleep each night, Goldilocks curls up beside me and just passes out. Dogs might be man's best friend, but Goldilocks is my, my best friend, and I think without her, I would have just given up on life by now. Who knows? I don't like looking in the mirror. I'd rather just look at my dog and see the way she looks back at me. If a pet has changed your life before, talk about it in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. I hope that you can find an animal companion that loves you the way Goldilocks loves me. Thanks for listening to my story.